On the XAMPP welcome page in your browser, click on the PHP My Admin button at the top right. You'll probably see a number of messages, the first of which is a newer version of PHP My Admin is available and you should consider upgrading. This is because the version of PHP My Admin bundled with XAMPP is always slightly behind the latest release. You can simply ignore this or you can update PHP My Admin. To do this, go to www.phpmyadmin.net forward slash downloads and download the latest version as a zip file. Version 4.5.1 is the latest at the time that I'm making these videos. I don't need all languages, just English, so I'll choose this package. Choose whichever one you want. Once the download's complete, upgrade simply by replacing all the files in the PHP My Admin subfolder of your new XAMPP installation with those in this zip archive that you've just downloaded. First, stop XAMPP and MySQL by using the XAMPP control panel. In Windows Explorer, delete all the files inside c backslash xamp backslash phpmyadmin. And then copy all the files in the zip archive that you've just downloaded. You should, when you do this, you should be in the folder with doc and examples in it. Copy them all and paste them into the now empty PHP My Admin folder in your XAMPP installation. To keep any changes that you made to your old installation of PHP My Admin, go to c backslash XAMPP old backslash PHP My Admin and copy config.inc.php and then go to the new installation, see XAMPP PHP My Admin subfolder and paste config.inc.php in there. And that will save any customizations that you made to your previous installation. Restart Apache and MySQL. And when they're running again, in your browser, refresh your PHP My Admin page. And the message about updating should now have disappeared. There will still be two more messages with red backgrounds and we'll deal with them in the coming videos.